Hi, my name is Mike. Thanks for joining me today on my channel, Technically Church, where I share over 20 years of experience in audio, video, lighting, and multimedia. You can always find out more on my website at technicallychurch.com. Let's jump in. Today I'm going to show you how to use Multitracks playback and integrate that with ProPresenter for automated lyrics using Simpty Timecode. So I'm going to show you the setup on both first and then I'll show you exactly how to record it and then how to play it back so you have completely automated lyrics when using playback for your worship songs. Intro, two, three, four. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is set up Simpty Time Code in playback. I do have a more detailed video on some of these settings if you want to check that out. So I'm just going to show you some of the defaults. If you go into the settings in playback, you want to make sure Simpty Time Code is enabled and you're going to pick your frames per second. And then depending on what interface you're using, I'm using Dante, you're going to want to make sure that Simpty Time Code here in the buses section has a patch out of playback. So you're going to need an audio interface to do that. All right, now on the song level, so if I edit and go into the song, you want to make sure that Enable Simpty is checked here. That is on by default. And then on the bottom, when you're in edit mode, if you click Edit Simpty here, you'll get this green bubble labeled Simpty Time Code. And if you click on that, it's going to default to a different location, but it's going to default to the Simpty time code of 00. zero. So um, the way that I run this is every song gets its, gets 10 minutes of time. So that way, you know, no songs overlap. So you can pick the timeline location by clicking on it, and you can say, you know, where do you want the time code to start in the timeline? I always start mine at zero right away. And then under Simpty Time Start, again, this is just something you're going to make. You're going to click on it. And um, I would recommend making each song, you know, at least 10 minutes of time or more. So this song starts at 0 hours 20 minutes. That's the time that it's going to output. So once you have that set up, we're going to click Done. Playback will now play out time code on that bus channel that you designated. And then on the receiving end, in this case, ProPresenter, I'll show you how it uh, gets received and how you record it. All right, the equipment that I'm using, uh, I am using a Dante network to get all of my audio out of playback. So one of those channels on Dante is Simpty Timecode. And then I'm using the Dante Avio adapter to intercept that Dante signal. And it gives you two inputs of analog audio. So I'm mapping my Simpty time code to the Dante adapter. And then you need any audio interface to receive that into the computer. So I'm using just a simple Behringer USB preamp here. So that is what is getting the audio from the Dante adapter into my ProPresenter machine. Now on the ProPresenter side, we're gonna set up time code for the first time. So you're gonna wanna go to view time code and you'll get this window, and if you've never used it before, it should look like this. So we'll go to settings, and you have to pick your audio source. So again, this would be your time code audio coming from playback. You could get this in a lot of different ways. Again, I'm getting it from Dante through a USB interface, so I'm gonna pick my USB interface as where my time code is. It's on channel one, and the format matching my playback settings of 30 frames per second. And then you pick a playlist to engage timecode with. So I'm gonna pick my playlist that I have everything in. So in this case, uh, you would be set up for timecode being received. And then the last step is to click up here in the timecode section where it says not engaged. You're gonna click it and that engages it and now you see that it's stopped. All right, so now I'm gonna to go to playback and click play and you'll see the timecode being played in 
In this case, I set it to start at 20 minutes. One, so you see now two, it's green and it's playing in at 20 intro, minutes. Two, three, four. All right, so now you have that set up, you have it tied to your playlist. So now we just have to record a song. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's already recorded. So I'm gonna to go to Same God and you click on your timeline here at the top of the song. And now you can see all my cues here. So you can see that this song I tied, I enabled time code, I tied it to 20 minutes. So I put that in manually. And then I've recorded all these cues in time. So you can see how that works. And I'm gonna go ahead and play playback so you can see what that looks like. One, two. So you can see once I play it, intro, the timeline two, advances three, in time. And then as soon as we get to verse one here, you will see it advance. Verse one. All right, so now I'm gonna hop over to a song that I have not programmed yet. Be glad. All right, so if you were to open the timeline on a song that you have not programmed, you'll just see that it's blank. So be glad, I have set at nine hours and zero minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and type that in. All right, and so the process for recording a song is this, you just type in the time code that you're gonna expect it to receive, you click the record button, and then you enable time code. Now everything you click will be recorded. So I'm gonna play the song and I'm gonna show you how you record a couple of cues. So right away, I'm gonna click the vamp, click the intro, and you see how it's recording the cues. So I'm manually clicking this in time. I'm gonna click the next slide. See it adds Q4. Goes back to verse one. We'll do one more at the chorus. All right, so you can see that it recorded uh, cues one through seven as I click through them. So now I'm gonna disable time code and I'm gonna disable recording. I'm gonna clear all and re-enable time code. All right, so you can see on my screen here, nothing is currently uh, displayed and I'm just gonna go ahead and play from the beginning of Be Glad again. And you can see now that it will play back. So there it just automated, clicked my first cue. Here it's gonna click the second one now. And there's verse one. I'll go ahead and pause that. So that is the uh, quick overview of how to get time code working from playback into ProPresenter and record uh, your first set of cues. Thanks for joining me today. Again, my name is Mike. You can always find out more on my website, technicallychurch.com, or on my YouTube channel, Technically Church. Look forward to seeing you soon.